root. The root of an equation is the same as the solution of that equation. For example, if y is equal to f of x, then the roots are the values of x for which y is equal to 0. Generally, the roots are the x-intercepts of the graph. The nth root of a real number x is a number which, when multiplied by itself, n times gives x. If n is odd and there is one root for every value of x, then n is then oh if n is odd then there is one root for every value of x if n is even then there are two roots one positive and one negative for positive values of x and no real numbers for negative values of x the positive root is called the principal root and is represented by the radical sign and you see it here for example, the principal root, square root of 9 is written. Square root of 9 is equal to 3. But the square roots of 9 are plus and minus 3. Okay, so the root, the square root is a number that multiplies itself. The square root of a number is another number that multiplies itself to give you the first number. Now, the cube root you will have that number, 3 of that number, multiply itself to give you that other number. If n is odd, then there is one root for every value of x. So you cannot have three numbers. For example, 3 by 3 by 3 is 27. 3, 3 is 9, 9, 3 is 27. If you have negative 3, when you multiply itself, it will give you a negative 27. If you, uh, you don't have a positive and negative 3. If you have positive 3, when they multiply themselves, it gives you positive 27. You cannot have a positive and a negative 3 mixed up in that case. The cube root of 27 is 3. The cube root of negative 27 is 3. However, if you take 25, the square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of 25 is also 5. There are two of them. So here, that's what it means, that when it says when there is even, when n is even, there are two roots, one positive, one, one negative. Positive 5 by positive 5 gives you 25. Negative 5 by negative 5 also gives you 25. So 25 has positive 5 and negative 5 as its square root. Alright, sample. A group of items chosen from a population. Okay. If you choose every one of them, then it's not a sample, it's a whole population. Sample space, the set of outcomes of a probability experiment, also called probability space. Okay. Scalar, a quantity which has size but no direction. Alright. For example, mass. The mass doesn't act this way, or up or down, or east or north, or south or west. Alright? It doesn't act like that. It's mass. It doesn't have a direction. But weight has a direction. You're standing up, your weight is downwards. It has a direction, down, towards the middle of the earth. Okay, scaling triangle. A triangle which has two sides equal a scaling triangle has no two ang has no two angles a scaling triangle has no two angles equal so all the sides are different all right different lengths that's a scaling triangle scientific notation a shorthand way of writing very large or very small numbers a number expressed in scientific notation is expressed as a decimal number between 1 and 10 multiplied by powers of 10. For example, 7000 is 7 times 10 to the 3 or 0 0.000009 is 1.9 by 10 to the negative 6. S sector. 
The sector of a circle is a closed figure formed by an arc and two radii of the circle. Segment. A segment is a line segment. A line segment is a piece of a line with two endpoints. The second definition here is a segment of a circle is a closed figure formed by an arc and a chord. We look at those things at a later date in more detail. Sequence a set of numbers with a prescribed order. Set a set is a well defined collection of things with without regards to their order. It doesn't matter the order that you put them in. Significant digits, the amount of digits required for calculations or measurement to be close enough to the actual value. Some rules in determining the number of digits considered significant in a number are 1. The leftmost non-zero digit is the first significant digit. The leftmost non-zero digit. So if you're going to write 500 and you write 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0. All of those zeros to the left don't mean anything. When you reach the 5, that's the first significant digit. And then you consider digits after that. So you have 500. You can write 500. Zero, zero. That means 500. You can write 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0. It's the same 500. Zeros between two non-zero digits are significant. Okay, trailing zeros to the right of the decimal point are considered significant. For example, five zero zero one means five thousand and one. The two zeros between the five and one are significant. Okay, similar. Two figures are said to be similar when all corresponding angles are equal. If two shapes are similar, then the corresponding sides are in the same ratio. Okay, so here they are similar if the angles are equal. That means they look alike. However, what they can be of different sizes, one big and one small. Like the model of a house and the house itself, they are similar. Or they, are, they should be similar if you work on them accurately. Alright, simple event. A non decomposable outcome of a probability experiment. When we look at probability, we'll see those in more detail. Simple interest. An interest of a fixed amount calculated on the initial investment. Simultaneous equations. A system or set of equations that must be true at the same time. Solid, a three-dimensional geometric figure that completely encloses a volume of space. Square matrix, a matrix with equal number of rows and columns. Square root, the square root of a positive real number n is the number m such that m squared is n for example the square root of 16 are 4 and negative 4 that means 4 squared is 16 and negative 4 squared is also 16 subset a subset of a given set is a collection of things that belong to the original set for example the set the subset of a equal a which is the set a b are a b and a b and the null set so remember every set is a subset of itself and the null set is a subset of every set surface area the sum of areas of the surfaces of a solid statistical inference the process of estimating unobservable characteristics of a population using information obtained from a sample okay so you take a sample and you study it and you say that based on what you find the entire population is 
it observe a certain pattern. For example, elections are coming. You have a general election. The entire population of the country will vote. And a poster examines a thousand people. And they see that 500 will vote for one party and another 500 vote for another based on their um, responses. Then the poster will say, wow, the election will be very close because they are assuming that everybody in the population will behave like those 1,000. Right? So they are making an, a statistical inference. Symmetry. Two points A and B are symmetric with respect to a line if the line is a perpendicular bisector of the segment AB okay so it's like that line is a mirror line what you see on the left and the right when you fold them around they match if you have the line going up and down tangent a line is a tangent to a curve at a point A if it just touches just touches the curve at A in such a way that it remains on one side of the curve at A so it doesn't cut through the curve. A tangent to a circle intersects, intercepts the circle only once. Okay, so next time we continue by looking at translate and see what it means.